Hey guys, you ever been working in your vault and you want to sort by data card data in a folder? Today's key tips for you. So if we have part number description revision all on this data card through for all of these files in this folder, we can quickly set this up to where we can display that data in these columns using details by using column sets. So let's go to the administration tool and figure out how this works. So we click on tools, administration, and then we go to columns. Inside our column view, we have Explorer view and search columns. So that's really the two types of column sets that you can have. So you can tailor the view to be more specific to your user's experience. In Explorer view, we double click that, and then you'll notice that it's only got one column in there called number. And then also you have over here, the visibility permission. Well, I know that number is not actually one of the data card fields that are on this data card specifically. So I'm gonna get rid of this, and I'm gonna just continue adding columns. I know that we have part number and we have description and we have revision. You're getting a preview of what the column set's gonna look like whenever you add this column set and you turn on the permissions. You give it a name that you want specific to what you need it to be. Maybe it's this was going to be the column view for your supply chain buyers, or this will be the column set for your manufacturing users. Basically, you can tailor that view specific to a certain user group by changing the permissions of each group. You can also change it from, well, I'm, I'm going to, if I do a search result, then I can get a certain number of columns displayed in the search results, and then I can do a file list. Well, this is going to be the file list. I know the part number field is actually not going to be very long. The description is probably going to be a lot longer. Revision will be shorter. And if you had any others, you could add those in here as well. And then again, we could change the user permissions here by highlighting all those. And I actually just want design engineers, administrators, and drafters in the engineering group to have access to see the, these columns in this type of a column organization. And then these two radio buttons down here are also very helpful because it, it allows you to set whether or not it's going to find a variable across all configurations or if it's going to search for a specific set of configurations. So if your company uses configurations and you know what those values are, and there's always going to be a dash one, dash two, dash three configuration or a left and a right or a sheet metal and a plastic, then you could add those into this list by selecting this radio button and then adding to the list of configurations here. So once you have those configurations set up, you can even further customize the view for each of your users. In our case, we're going to just look for the variable in all configurations, click OK. And so that will save that back to the database. You just have to navigate to a folder outside your PDM vault and then back in and then your columns will show up. Let's go ahead and drag the part number over and the revision over. Category is good and we could use the state and that's fine, but I don't really care about these other ones over here. So let's go ahead and put part number first, description second, and the revision third, and then I'll have the state fourth, and then I can see checked out by, well, anyway. The idea here is that for each of these files, they have a part number, description, and revision that you can now sort by. Sort by part number, sort by description, sort by revision. It comes in very handy whenever you're wanting to browse through a large folder, and if you have this metadata at your fingertips, you have the ability to find the files that you're looking for even faster without going to a formal search. Hopefully today's Q-tips have been helpful for you. Believe in the queue.